Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about this thing on YouTube that's totally not cancer. It's this thing called rants or exposed videos. Now these are good if you want to make a ton of ad revenue while making great content. Don't get me wrong, like some of these are funny, but every day now, every single day, we're seeing these exposed videos. Oh yeah, dude, that the one dude laughed at a rape joke? Let's let's expose him. Why he raped you? Yeah, I mean... But did you I sue could... him and shit or not? No, I didn't because, like, I he just has a lot of family members that are, like, that were, like, I don't know, I got bullied, like, in high school, like, I don't know. You got raped? Yeah, bro. And this, and this dude, he raped, like, hella people. <laughs> what the fuck? Does anyone actually care about this? Oh no, my hero rice gum laughed at a rape joke. I've never laughed at a racist joke. I've never laughed at a rape joke before. I've never told someone to kill themselves in the comments before. Oh no, I'm perfect. And my favorite YouTubers have to be perfect too. Guys, watch your YouTubers for entertainment. Don't idolize them for personality. Don't think they're perfect or something because they're not. When someone gets even remotely famous, it's like they have to be a completely perfect human because they're going to get exposed if they don't act like a good boy on camera. You know what, guys? I think because Scars is a drama channel and it's popular to hate on drama channels right now, we should go expose him with my huge fan base. I think we should aim for two dislikes on his next video. We can we can take his channel down. Let's let's do it, guys. But anyway, getting back to the situation at hand, a ton of these rant videos are uploaded every day. Now I'm all for this thing called constructive criticism because that's what allows people to grow, pointing out things they could improve on. But I think when we start to point out these little things that are so irrelevant that cause hatred towards another person slash content creator, that is a massive problem. When you see people pulling this typical garbage, you know it's all for revenue at the end of the day. And like I said, some of these rants aren't bad, some of them are actually necessary, but it's become so popular to rant on people that people are just doing it for the revenue. Really, all would be fine and good if the children on the internet weren't trying to spread hate to a bunch of different channels. You guys really want to know why these rants are just so successful? This is the key right here, guys. It changes everything. The key is free advertising. You guys might be like, what do you mean by that? Free advertising? The reason why these exposed slash rant videos are so good for your channel is because if you can get the other person to respond to your video, you have just manipulated that person to give you free advertising. What I mean about that is that his slash her subscribers will see his video that he slash she made responding to your video and then they will check out your channel. So sure, you might get hate, but you'll get so many views and subscribers, it's so worth it. Now, if you're a small channel and you're thinking about doing this, probably won't get that much attention, so that's a little bit unlucky for you. Now, there is someone I would like to point out that does this so much, and this is how he has probably grown as a YouTuber. That's Vegan Gains. This guy literally makes a video about every fitness channel, and they always make a video back about him. His marketing tactic is so genius. I was never sure if this guy was actually serious about his beliefs as a vegan because he's so radical in this method that he uses. Really, what he does is set a model for how you can grow your channel. The thing about ramp videos is that they were already a genius tactic to grow your channel, but now, because everyone is making ramp videos, we're in this never-ending circle of rants that the search engine will infinitely promote. We're now given a huge incentive to expose other people and I am honestly inclined to believe that these rant videos won't stop for a long time now. Drama is not going away because people like that stuff and I think most of YouTube knows that and attacking the drama channels or the rant channels is not the way to go about this. Once we can set a standard for what type of drama is accepted and what isn't, hopefully we can go about changing these childish drama videos which really just have no relevance. That's my take on all of the exposing of fellow YouTubers. So if you all enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want, favorite and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, everyone. And I will see you in the next one.